let's explore the final tool on the Filmora startup window, and that is Auto Reframe. With Auto Reframe, you can change the frame of your video and even tell Filmora to follow a subject and keep it within a new frame. Let's go ahead and open this up and you're going to get a new window. The first thing you need to do is to import your video. So now I just need to select the aspect ratio that I want for my new frame. So this right here is landscape or widescreen, 16 by nine, but you can choose a new frame, like a four by three, 21 by nine, one by one, nine by 16. Depending on what you're going to do with your video, you can choose one of these aspect ratios. If you want to reframe this video for Instagram story, for example, you would have to change it to nine by 16. If you're going to post this for a cinematic video, you would want to go with 21 by nine. So we get these black bars, which makes your clip look more cinematic. You can go for a four by three if you're just going to post it on Instagram. Choose the aspect ratio that you are looking for. And you can go ahead and export this as it is. Because my subject is in frame the whole time, I can just go ahead and finish it right here. Once I have finished, I can go ahead and hit export. If you'd like to see a before and after, head over to this I button. This is our new frame. This was the old frame. Let's go ahead and export this video. Choose a location for your exported video. Name it if you'd like and hit save. Now my video was created. I can either hit OK and upload it somewhere else or upload it to Filmora where I can edit this further. I will hit OK for this one. And here is my video. If you'd like to continue using this tool, you can go ahead and hit replace file. Import your other video. I can go ahead and choose my ratio again. Let's go for a square. And this time I have a moving subject. As you can see, my frame is being moved because we have a moving subject. Let's take a look at this option, Adjust Frame. Now, Filmora has already adjusted my frame, but if I saw that my frame is not following the subject, I can go ahead and turn on Adjust Frame. And now Filmora is going to let me move the frame. So if the video ended up here, I know that I have to adjust the frame by grabbing it over here. Once you're happy with the new frame, hit OK. You can also head over to the advanced menu and edit this further. Here we have tracking subject. Right now it's set on primary, but you can open this up and put it to secondary. This means that if your subject is not of importance and you just want to grab a new frame for your video, you can change this to secondary. We're going to take a look at this with another example. We have tracking speed. This is the default speed, but you can change the speed if you'd like. You can go for faster, which as you can see is moving a lot more than it did before, or you can choose slower. So you can see it's a lot more slower this time. And whatever you choose, it's going to take a look at your main subject. So the frame is going to move unless you choose secondary. You can also set it to default if you're not sure which one you want to choose. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and export this.
and you can see my frame is moving as my subject is reaching the camera. Now let's take a look at another example where our subjects are moving very quickly. So as you can see, my model is running and you can see the frame is also moving a lot more than it usually does. I'm going to adjust this frame and make sure that my subject is at the center at all times. All right, once I'm finished, hit OK. I will make this cinematic. So you can see it's moving quite a lot. And because my subject and camera are moving at the same time, I'm going to choose faster. So that I could keep up with the momentum of the camera and the subject. Let's turn this off so I just get the new frame. Let's export this video. And there is my new video. You can see that it has a cinematic ratio. Now let's try our final example where we don't have a clear subject. So in this video, we do not have a clear subject. Instead, we have a tree and nothing is separated for Filmora to track. So for this example, I can go ahead and change the tracking subject from primary to secondary. Let's turn this on and change the aspect ratio to four by three. You can see that the frame is no longer moving. And that's the way I want it to be because we don't really have much movement in this video. If you change your tracking subject to secondary, you do not need to change tracking speed. You can adjust a frame if you'd like another part of your video to be in the new frame. Hit OK when you're finished. So I created this movement by adjusting my frame. Turn this off. This is my new video. Let's export this video. And this time upload it to Filmora. Let's import it to my timeline. And now I can edit this further with some color grading, filters, or other elements. If you'd like to change the project aspect ratio, you can head over to this button and just change it to four by three, just like the video we have. Mine was already set that way because I chose match to media. I went ahead and imported the rest of my reframed videos. I'm going to create a video montage using the three videos right here and these split screens. Let's go ahead and import a background that will look nice. Go to stock media, Pixabay, photo and search for backgrounds. You can choose from the many options that you have. This is the one I downloaded. This is the background. I'm going to drag the flowers video. Let's get rid of it actually. And place my background on my first video layer. Let's change the aspect ratio back to widescreen. Let's add a split screen that has animation. You can also choose these ones, but they do not have an entrance animation. I will get this one.
head over to the advanced split screen edit and put your videos in the boxes. Play it back to make sure that your subjects are within the boxes at all times. And there we go. Hit OK. Now I have a fun video montage. I'm going to create a frame by scaling out this split screen. Double click. Head over to Video. Transform and just scale this out. There we go. You can decorate your video with elements. Hand drawn will go nicely with the aesthetic that I have going on. Let's drag these clouds. I want the clouds to go behind my split screen, so it needs to go below this layer. I'm going to offset my split screen by some time so we get to see the clouds before the videos come in. But the clouds are not that visible, so I can use the blending modes to get the clouds to be darker. Double click on the element, go to compositing, change the blending mode from normal to difference. You can adjust the opacity if it's too extreme. Hit OK. I'm going to turn this off for a second. And now my clouds are black. Turn this back on and now let's look at our final video. Let's grab some additional elements. Scale the element. And then hit OK. You can add a transition if you'd like, but this is quite nice. Again, you can choose a different blending mode if you don't like how it looks with the video underneath. I will choose difference and just lower the opacity. Let's end the videos like this so they all finish at one point. You can add a transition at the end as well. Now let's take a look at our montage. And that was how you can use Auto Reframe to change the framing of your video with just a few simple clicks. Let's move on to the next lesson and learn more about Filmora's audio tools.